If you are looking for a weekend getaway from Bangalore, then you are at the right place. Hey guys, welcome to Secret Cubes and this is Sagar. Today we will be talking about top 10 places to visit for a 2 day trip from Bangalore. On the top of the list, we have one of the most trending destinations from Bangalore, Pondicherry, officially known as Puducherry. Pondicherry is an ideal place for a two-day trip from Bangalore. Pondicherry has a lot to offer than you can think of. The streets of French colony, also known as a white town, are decorated with charming mustard yellow colors and bougainvillea plants. It is a perfect place to be creative and get some amazing shots. As you stroll along the French colony, you will see dozens of cozy cafes and restaurants which serve delicious French food. If you are into spirituality, then you can head to Matri Mandir in Aroville. More about Auroville and other places are covered in my top places to visit in Pondicherry. I'll drop a link to that video in the description box below. Pondicherry has got some amazing beaches. If you want some peaceful time away from the hustle bustle of the city, then head to Serenity Beach. If you want to enjoy evening walk along the shore, then you can head to Promenade Beach, also called as the Rock Beach. If you want to get into the water, then head to Paradise Beach. If you are staying in Bangalore, then the best way to reach Pondicherry is by train. The train timings are synced for a perfect weekend getaway from Bangalore. Second on the list, we have Kurg, famously known as the Scotland of India. Kurg is located in the Western Ghats of Sayadri Mountains, just 250 km from Bangalore. From waterfalls to mountain, from adventurous trekking to temples, and from coffee plantations to Kodawa food, Kurg has everything to offer one can ask for. Kurg has pleasant weather throughout the year. Although as per recommendations, the best time to visit Kurg is in winters and summers, you can visit Kurg in monsoon as well. There would be heavy rainfall during this time, but if you love rain just like we do, then don't hesitate to get drenched in Kurg's rain during monsoon. There are endless number of places for sightseeing in Kurg like Mandalpatti, Talakaveri, Abbe Falls, Chikliholi Reservoir, Golden Temple, Dubar Elephant Camp, Tadanda Mold, Irupu Falls, Malali Falls, Harangi Dam, oof, the list is never ending. All these places are so beautiful that you may want to extend your 2 day trip duration to 3 days. You can check my top 10 places to visit in Kurg video to find more details about these places. We all know that plan to Goa always fails. So instead of making plans to Goa, make plans to Gokarna, known as the little Goa but more beautiful. In fact many Goa regulars have moved to Gokarna's pristine beaches where the crowds are less and beaches are cleaner. In the last decade there has been a huge influx of tourists to Gokarna. In fact this trend has divided Gokarna into two parts, one for the religious devotees who come to seek blessings of Shiva and other of the carefree travellers looking for some peaceful time in nature's lap. Beaches in Gokarna are one of the most beautiful and the cleanest beaches in India. The beaches like Half Moon Beach and Paradise Beach are so secluded that you can only reach them on foot or by boat. I would recommend you to do beach hopping from one beach to another beach where you will be able to cover Gokana Beach, Om Beach, Kudle Beach, Paradise Beach and Half Moon Beach. You can indulge in water sports activities or if you are feeling lazy then you can chill at any sacks on the beach. Enjoy sunset while having your favorite beer. Gokana is not just about beaches. For spiritual people Mahabaleshwar temple is of the greatest importance. The temple is dedicated to Lord Shiva and has one of the most powerful Atmalingam. I have made a detailed video of things to do in Gokarna which you can check out in the description box below. Next on the list we have Udagamandalam popularly known as Uti. Located in the western ghats, Uti encapsulates lofty mountains, incredible lakes, dense forest, sprawling grasslands and endless stretch of tea plantations. The hill station itself is a land of mesmerizing places which explains why it is called as the queen of the hill stations. 
Hoot is so popular among the tourists that you may feel it is over commercialized. But that should not stop you from visiting Ooty because it has got one of the most amazing views and climate. You just have to find an offbeat time to visit it. I would highly recommend you to visit Kunur which is comparatively less crowded yet more beautiful. You can walk through the tea plantations, understand the journey of tea making or just do a lazy boat ride in Ooty Lake. In short, Ooty will never disappoint you with its beauty. If you are not a tea person, then let me take you to the land of coffee, Chikmagaluru. Apparently, Baba Budangiri in Chikmagaluru is the place where the first coffee in the country was grown back in 1670. All thanks to Baba Budan, who brought seven unroasted coffee seeds to Chikmagaluru while returning from Hajj. I have visited Chikmagaluru multiple times, yet it has amazed me every time I visited. Among all the places mentioned in this list, I feel Chikmagaluru offers the best panoramic view of the hills. The landscapes here are so beautiful that it looks similar to that iconic windows wallpaper we have seen for years. You can visit the highest peak of Karnataka, Mulyangiri, or visit the majestic Hebe Falls or take a trek to Z point. The list of the places you can visit in Chikmagaluru are endless. I'll be making a detailed video of places to visit in Chikmagaluru soon. Do subscribe to this channel to make sure you don't miss that. If you are enjoying this video so far then hit on that like button. Let's aim for 100 likes. Next on the list we have Wynad. Wynad is famous for its trekking trails, mesmerizing waterfalls, caves, bird watching sites and breathtaking views. I like the green paddy fields and tall coconut trees here. Walking alongside the endless stretch of paddy fields is most enjoyable. You can visit a wide variety of places like Kurwa Island, Edical Caves, Sentinel Rock Waterfalls, Banasa Sagara Dam, Nilima V Point and Chembra Peak. Apart from typical touristy thing, you can also visit tribal community who still rely on the forest for their daily food and other needs. There are many good resorts options at Wynard who offer adventurous activities as well. Next on the list, we have the favorite place of trekkers, Sakleshpur. Sakleshpur is a little town located in the foothills of Western Ghats. It offers spellbound views that will take your breath away. There are many resorts in Sakleshpur which will make you feel close to the nature. These resorts are a perfect getaway for people who are seeking adventurous activity or just want to spend time with their friends and family. Apart from Manjarabad food, there are no other viewpoints at Sakleshpur like the ones you find in places like Uti, Madikeri or Chikmagaluru. But there are other activities that can keep you engaged. You can go for a short trek to the nearby hills, do adventurous activities in the resort, spot some beautiful birds or just chill out in the pool. You can also visit places like Beluru, Halebidu and Chattihali Church on your way back to Bangalore. If you are staying in Bangalore then you would have seen those Udpi restaurant in almost every corner of the city. If you want to know the roots of those authentic South Indian food joints, then you should visit Udupi. Udupi is a coastal district in Karnataka, popular for Sri Krishna temple, beaches, educational institutes, financial institutes and delicious food. Udupi is turning into a hot tourist destination lately. There are many things you can do in Udupi. We can visit the Sri Krishna temple where you can see the lot through the window, go for kayaking in Mulki. Visit the most beautiful St. Mary's Island or visit the cleanest beach in India, Pudupitri Beach. The list of places are endless. I have covered all these places in another video which I will link in the description box below. Make sure to check out that. Mysore is one of the most popular tourist destination in the state of Karnataka. With its rich cultural heritage and fascinating royal history, 
Mysore was a prominent city of Karnataka prior to Bangalore. Mysore is one of the cleanest city in India. Though modernity has its influence on the other cities, Mysore has managed to retain its heritage which has made tourism to be one of the most striving industry in the city. The city maintains traditions, glorious palaces, amazing gardens and magnificent temples. Mysore Palace is one of the most visited palaces in India. Apart from Mysore Palace, you can also visit Chamundi Hills, Philomena's Cathedral, Brindavan Gardens and Mysore Zoo. I can guarantee you that your time in Mysore would be the most memorable one. Popularly known as the Poor Man's Ooty, Erkad is one of the budget-friendly hill stations in India. Erkad is located in Tamil Nadu state, just 200 km from Bangalore. Erkad gets its name from Erkad Lake and forest around the lake. In Tamil, Eri means lake and Kadu means forest. So both of these words together make Erkad, which means lake forest. It is a great choice as a weekend getaway from Bangalore. There are many places of attractions in Erkad, ranging from lakes to viewpoints to gardens to waterfalls. You can visit Erkad Lake, Deer Park, Botanical Garden, Kiluri Falls, Ladies Seat and Pagoda Point. That was my list of top 10 places to visit for a 2 day trip from Bangalore. Let me know which is your favorite in the comment section below. Also let me know which place deserves to be on this list which I missed. You can click on any of the videos on the screen to watch a detailed video of that place. See you in the next video. Bye bye.